there welcome to my channel my name is Lida got it. Lida <laughs> my name is Linda l-i-n-d-a l-i-n-d-a <laughs> Sorry, my strange humor coming out. I'm so glad you can join me today. I've got a lot of fun ideas for you. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Today we're going to be working on easy Valentine crafts using Dollar Tree supplies. So let's get started with project number one. For this project, I'm going to use this home decor sign from Dollar Tree. And of course, I'm going to remove the hanger off the back. I will reattach that again later. And then, of course, remove all the stickers and things off the back. And then I'm going to pop the back off out of the frame. If you do it nice and easy, gentle, it should come off. But if the frame happens to like come apart as you're doing this, I've had it happen, it's really easy to glue that frame back together. And then I'm gonna pop the center off, but I'm gonna keep that. We're gonna reuse that, kitty crossing. <laughs> And then I'm going to be using some different scrapbook papers today. This is cardstock. This is a piece that was just like already cut. It fits perfectly. I'm going to use that black cardstock. And then my other uh, papers, all these are from my supply, but you can find cardstock and papers and everything like that from like Hobby Lobbies, Joann's, uh, things like that, uh, local craft stores. And I'm just fitting all my pieces with my papers and then cutting them out. So the back of the frame, it'll be covered in black cardstock, and then I'll have a little shorter uh, decorative paper on top. And then the centerpiece, I'm cutting this to fit wholly that whole corner. I'm cutting this other piece of lighter cardstock because at this point, I'm not sure if I want to layer two pieces here or not. I kind of test out a couple of designs, and we'll go through that in a little bit. I'm going to be using Dixie Belle chalk paint in the color of caviar here, which is just a fancy name for black. And I'm going to paint my frame all around, inside and out. And then I'll go ahead and also paint uh, that uh, centerpiece, that back piece, the front and back side of it. Because I want the back to look all finished off as well. And then this little um, centerpiece here as well. I keep calling the back piece and that piece the centerpiece. All the pieces black. Uh, and then I'm going to do a little uh, sanding here, a little distressing. With the, I think I've got like 120 grit sandpaper in here just to kind of give it our little rustic farmhouse look. And then I like to take all my papers to my sewing machine. Those you might be new to my channel or checking me out for the first time. I like to add sewing onto my papers. It, this is an option that you can skip, of course. I just kind of think it gives it a homey, kind of comfy, you know, farmhouse look. So I'll sew around everything. And then I like to take the open end of my scissor blade, scissor blades, oh, I, I can talk today, goes in with that introduction, right? Uh, and I scrape along the edges to kind of give it a rustic look. And this part you can skip as well. I've got these wood hearts from Dollar Tree. They came in like three designs. I'm going to be using a couple of different designs today. These are already red, perfect for what we need. I'm going to use two small uh, one larger one and again I'm just going to kind of distress with my sandpaper here just to kind of farmhouse it up using two X's and two O's. Now this is what I'm using these plastic letterboard letters that come from Hobby Lobby and I got them like half price one inch tall costs about four dollars but if you're looking at Dollar Tree supplies they have these uh, metal letters that are exactly the same height that you could use. You could find the right size letter stickers, of course, would work perfectly. And then for my center piece, that piece that sticks up, I may use this, I'm not sure, or another word. Um, you could use stickers if you want to spell out a word, uh, or the have these um, chipboard words, or even these, this blessed word in the harvest pack that came out at fall time would work, or you could print something out on paper. Okay, lots of options for that centerpiece, and we'll kind of look at that a little later as well. Now, these little letter board, you know, they go into those letter press signs. I'm cutting off the little back here so they lay flat, and then I'm just kind of checking out what I want to do here. If I want just a heart there, I want a printed word over the front of the heart, just kind of looking at all my different design options here. If you're going to use like a word like this that's black, you might want to put light cardstock behind it so it pops up. This is just a wood word from my stash. I painted it black. Um, we'll be using Beacon Fabri-Tac glue today. So, you know, different options for that raised center area. 
So if you'd like use one of the uh, chipboard words from Dollar Tree or one of those wood words from the Harvest Pack, you may choose to paint it black so you want a lighter cardstock underneath. So I'm just gluing down all my papers here. So I hope that's understandable. And then I'm seeing where I want my hearts and exos to go behind on that back panel there so it fits in nicely and you can kind of see them with that raised centerpiece. And once I figure out where that needs to go, we'll start gluing those down. Kind of nice here that these are already painted. Normally, even though they're painted red, I would go in and repaint them a different red color. But by sanding them a little bit, it kind of takes that bright red color away from these already painted hearts from Dollar Tree. And then just going ahead and gluing down my little plastic letters. Of course, if you use stickers, you know, you can just stick those down. Them in a fun way here. I kind of wanted it to resemble like a tic-tac-toe board, of course. So my little hearts are in opposite corners so that my center heart will be in the center and, you know, looks like I won playing the game of tic-tac-toe. So I'm gluing on this back panel here, just using the Beacon Fabri-Tac glue. It works fine. You can see I've painted the back all up so it looks nice and finished off. And we'll go ahead and glue the center piece in. Perfect, and I'm deciding here kind of what I want to do. If I like all the options. If I use a word here that I printed out, I would suggest like a couple pieces of cardboard so it raises it up off the heart. And then deciding if I want the you and me, again, if you use that, you might want to put down some light cardstock here so that it kind of shines up if you've painted it black. Uh, in the end, I'm going to go with these chipboard uh, words here and a metal arrow. You can get these in the scrapbook section of Hobby Lobby. The metal arrows are by Paper Studio. You get a whole pack of those. They do come in bronze or silver. Or these are chipboard quotes. They're by Tim Holtz Ideology. You get these in the scrapbook section. They have like stickers and all sorts of things like that. I love to use these stickers on things, especially during Valentine's. So I'm gonna go with that chipboard word. And so I'm just gonna glue the heart in the center. So see, we have our tic-tac-toe. We won in the game of love. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna glue on my little quote here. It says, remember the now. I thought that would be cute. Remember the now, like remember the love you're in now. So I'm just centering that. And then of course I will glue down the little arrow. This Fabri-Tac glue holds down all sorts of like metal, paper, leather, everything. It's perfect. And then of course, once it's all done, I will use this spray glitter that I get at Walmart. This is usually in with all the glitter section in the craft section at Walmart. And I will show you the final looks at the end of the video. But for now, that makes this project complete. So let's move on to project number two. For this one, I'm gonna use these cute little cutting boards our Dollar Tree got in. Um, and I bought like eight of them and I'm glad I did because they're gone now. And I went ahead and I just really quickly, it was very easy, sanded off with my electric sander all the paper on the front, removed the twine of course, and I'm gonna use this Dixie Belt chalk paint again, color caviar to paint around the front and the back so that the back's all nice finished off. I'll paint it completely in the front here. I'll just kind of go around the edges. I'm so glad they got these in because our craft section never did get in. I know a lot of you found the uh, cutting boards that were just plain wood that you could you know, start fresh from there, but I had to go this route. At least we got something like this in. So this is ready to go and I've cut two papers here. I'm gonna go with pinks on this one. I left a little perimeter around uh, the paper there, a little perimeter of the cutting board, and then the next sheet I cut down about a half inch shorter. And I'm gonna use this corner punch. It's got a quarter inch and a half inch corner punch. It's the same brand that uh, has the crocodile that a lot of us use. I'll try and find a link on Amazon for you. And you just put the pointy end down into it just like this and you squeeze the handle nice and easy and I'm using the half inch side so it looks really nice has the same width around the corner basically as the cutting board and I'll do the same on both papers just like that and I'm going to go ahead again and sew around the edges of both of these papers here 
using black thread on this so you have a nice contrast on the pink and when i'm sewing i never care if the sewing straight or i make a little bobble and it's a little crooked i just think it adds to the charm and i'm just using again the open end of my scissor blades to scrape around the edges and add that little bit more of a rustic look to it give it a little bit more texture nice and easy and again you can always skip this part and you can always skip the sewing if you're not a sewer and then i'm going to go ahead and use my uh, sanding block thing here and sand around the edges to stress that so it looks all nice and rustic and farmhouse looking and then we'll go ahead and start gluing our papers down so on this one, I'm still in the fashion from the first project of kind of using the X's and O's. So we're going to continue with that. Here's my X's and O's. I use my Cricut uh, design space for this. Again, you can use the galvanized letters or stickers here. I'll have the fonts listed in the description box for you. Or you could use Sharpie marker or paint pens from Dollar Tree if you got great handwriting and write it in. looks nice and I did like four rows of X's and O's and then using some of these hearts I've sanded with my sandpaper here and we're going to these are the other um, the one set of hearts here and then this is the other set and then they have the other third set of hearts that kind of has a curved pointy end to it so those are the three um, designs for the wood hearts at Dollar Tree and I sanded these a little bit kind of give it that distressed look like the cutting board and then we'll rip place an O in each line here with a heart. Nice and cute. Wonderful. And then we're going to come in with some ribbon. I got the striped ribbon at Walmart. Black and white, kind of bring up the black a little bit more. I'm just going to tie it into a simple bow at the top. I usually like to leave my tails a little bit long, but I will adjust those. Once I get it there, I'm going to use this metal key that says Dream on it. I get this from ReneeableCase.com. I'll have that link for you down below. And I'm just going to use a safety pin and pin it to the center of the bow. Of course, I will spray it with glitter off camera, and I'll show you the final looks at that at the end. That makes this project complete. So let's move on to our last project, number three. For this project, I'm gonna use one of these. It's a two-piece set of these gift bags. These are bigger than the other ones you get in a package because the other ones, I think you get four. These, you only get two. I'm gonna cut the label out of the center and then I'm going to uh, use wood heart here, a little red wood heart. I was going to go with the ones that kind of look like the one on the bag, the red heart, but I decided to go with the other shaped heart. And I've got letters from my Cricut that I cut out, and I'm going to use this. It's a chipboard piece from Scrapbooking, um, a little chipboard tag. I'm going to use it for a template later. And then I found some of this cute black uh, striped fabric at Walmart. And so here's my piece here. I traced the whole thing out, but I end up cutting it a little bit short. It's about like a four by three size when I'm done. And I'm going to go ahead and cut the strings off of this because I don't want that. We're going to turn this little treat sack or bag into a little pillow. Nice and easy. Makes it like, oh, I don't know, like a six by six kind of pillow. Would look cute on tiered trays and everything. And I'm just going to go ahead, once I cut that drawstring part out, turn the bag inside out. And I'm going to cut a little bit of the top off. You don't really need to, but I'm going to. And then you can use... Um, either like Beacon Fabri-Tac glue or a glue gun or a sewing machine to kind of get this end together. But when, when you do that, you wanna leave just about a little two or three inch opening so that you can stuff it. So here, Beacon Fabri-Tac, glue gun works wonderful. Again, if you do that, just kind of right across there, leaving that little bit of an opening. I'll take mine to my sewing machine and then I'll stuff it off camera. So here it is all stuffed. And you can stuff it as full as you want. And then I'll just take my Beacon Fabri-Tac glue and um, normally maybe I would like sew it by hand with needle and thread, but I don't need to. It's a small enough opening here. And I'll just use my Fabri-Tac glue here to close the opening. 
And again, cute would look cute on like tiered trays or just in a little, you know, uh, ensemble of Valentine things. So here's my cardboard I cut off. I went ahead and painted around the edges in that black and I've just got black cardstock here. I've sewn around the edges and I'm gluing that to the front and back of our little cardboard piece here. And then I've got another sheet of paper here that I um, cut to fit just a little bit short of that black cardstock. And then I'm just using these uh, vinyl letters. Again, you could use sticker letters here or those metal letters that you could paint. Just putting those on here. And then in shape, in the place of the O, I'm going to use this shape of uh, hearts versus the other ones that looked similar to this, just to give it a little bit different look. Go ahead and glue the smaller heart uh, onto this piece. Once I get this glued onto our little tag, get the little heart shape in there. Perfect. And then here's my fabric piece. I went ahead and I sewed around the edges and then I pulled on the threads around the edges as well to kind of give it a frayed look. But you don't have to sew it or anything like that. You can just cut a piece here just to give it a little more texture. You don't even have to you even need to add any fabric to the front if you don't want to. And then I'm going to glue the uh, bigger heart to the center and you could totally leave it like this. This is super cute just like this. But you know me, I like to take it a step further. So I'm going to use some of this twine here. I find this at Walmart. It's about $1.74 or so, a ball of twine. And this is usually over in by like where you find all the rocks and the wreath making stuff in our Walmart anyway. And I'm going to wrap it around the top of the pillow just two or three times here. And then I'm going to kind of tie a half knot here. And then that's where I'll hang my little tag. I'm going to... Uh, punch a little hole with the crocodile here and kind of thread it onto the twine. And then I'll finish tying a bow here. And then you, of course, you know, uh, can cut off your little tails to the length you want, but I decided to, and leave it that way, but I decided to go ahead and add a little more decor on here by using some uh, wood beads out of my supply. And then, of course, I'll put a knot at the end and cut off the excess both sides i just think that adds a little something something to it and then of course you know i finished it off camera by using some spray glitter and that makes this project complete So I really hope you enjoyed all the projects we made today. I think these turned out so super cute and really easy with Dollar Tree supplies. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which project was your favorite. Or maybe you liked all three. That's okay too. Please give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel to grow. And if you're not a subscriber and you like what you saw here today, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos from me. Before I go, I'm going to leave you with one final thought. We would love a straight path in our life without any obstacles that would ultimately lead to heaven. But all the things along the way, all the obstacles are partly because of a fallen world, but it's often things we need to go through to help us with the next task in our life or to even help another person on their path. It's part of the process that we are imperfect and we don't have it all together. And that should make us realize that we need God's help that we need to ask for his help. Jesus is in you. You are not alone and you don't have to conquer this all by yourself. Give Jesus a seat at your table. Make it a table for two. I thank you for sharing your time with me and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.